that the standard display that comes with the car, or is that something yep, custom? Yes, Ali Cum. Wow. You notice I don't have anything else. No gauges, dash, cluster, buttons anywhere. No, I hadn't even noticed that, no. It's all on the screen. Very nice. Great. You got it. Good job. Well, he's a Porsche, so he can park wherever he wants. Right? <laughs> yeah. Now, I was more impressed with uh, the car knowing to go around him so quickly. That was very good. Might be about ready to take on downtown. <laughs> there you go. Oh, so the car's driving itself. It sure is. Oh, nice. I'm one of the full self driving beta testers. So I like to see. How many trips that it can actually like handle on its own? It knows there's a turn up here. It's interesting. It's trying to figure out its way. <laughs> you need to take a left here, so it should see this. I think this is the same turn that it always fails to see. That's interesting. So before this Lexus comes up on us, I'm gonna go ahead and put us there. Very interesting. I don't know if it's the double white line there or what, but. Just doesn't like the street. Yeah, that's the only turn down here that I've noticed where it just, for whatever reason, doesn't see it. It'll reroute, you know, and figure out another way to get to the destination. But when I have customers, I'd rather not waste their time. <laughs> not here to send you on a wild goose chase. It's extremely interesting that it's doing it on its own, trying to figure it out. And yeah, it's an active thinking brain. You know, it's not looking at anything that's pre-programmed it's all in real-time stimulation or it's like it's seeing it for the first time every time mm -hmm. will it do this without there being a designated lane it doesn't like when there's like a lane that we take you know we're, we're used to just kind of cutting in and going right but it, it doesn't so i'm gonna take over because it's getting too rocky oh. machines are still a lot more uh rigid i guess is the way to put it it needs some definite logic to follow, whereas us humans, I mean, we'll just drive anywhere our heart desires. Yep. And give it time, it'll learn. Yeah, I mean, this is like the hardest use case or test bed when it, like downtown, you know, when you have people jumping around, slamming on their brakes, humans crossing the street everywhere you look, one ways, delivery trucks, random Porsches parked in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> Buses that sit halfway out in the street. Yeah, exactly. It's it's intense. The general driving, you know, outside of downtown is a lot more finessed, a lot smoother, less jolty. I've got my limits that I like to expose customers to. <laughs> if it gets a little too rocky, I'm like nah. By myself, if I'm not impeding others around me too much, I let it try to figure things out. Yeah. Like, all right, what are you gonna do here? You know, like some crazy construction scenes coming up, or, or there is like a big semi truck turning in front of us, and I'm like, all right, how are you gonna handle this thing? <laughs> <laughs> it almost seems like it's intimidated by these massive vehicles, where it's like, oh gosh, what is that? Which well, it should, shouldn't be intimidated because it's a machine, so it should not really right. care. Yeah. Uh, Admittedly, I'm anthropomorphizing that emotion onto uh -huh, the machine, but right. it is funny how you can correlate actions. And how we feel when we make those actions, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. It does feel like it's got its personality, though. Sometimes it seems like it has more confidence, less confidence. Like it's in a bad mood or something. It's really yeah. funny. It's kind of like how you can tell when a friend or family member isn't doing so hot someday. And mm -hmm. you're like, are you all right? <laughs> has it ever had any situation where it did something that it shouldn't have done? There's been a few. I mean, it's, it's few and far between that it's safety related. Usually it's just kind of uncomfortable joltiness or unsure or it'll stop. But I mean, as far as something blatant, like going the wrong way down a one way, I've never had that. Uh, it's never like it wouldn't turn right at this light where there's a one way road. Why not? Humans do. I know. That's the one thing that I like to point out when some folks would criticize the self-driving. I was like, yeah, but at least the machine isn't deliberately deciding to break the law <laughs> like humans do when we run lights or jump medians or cut people off or whatever. 
even with the state of the performance as it is now, I feel like the world would be a lot safer if this was 90 plus percent of the vehicles that were operating. Take That's all right. the crazy human ego and emotion out of it. Mm-hmm. No more road rage. Yep. No more drunk drivers. No more distractions that randomly cause someone to hit their brakes and back up traffic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, everything you can imagine. It's a pretty wild experiment if you think about it. The idea that humans en masse operating these multi-ton vehicles and hoping that it'll go well. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in more urban areas like this. Awesome, thanks man. Yeah, my pleasure guys. Good luck. Yeah, just Can hold the button pop? there. Here, yep, perfect. You guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve and a happy New Year. Yeah, thanks, happy New Year, man. Thank you. Awesome. Good start to the day. Good conversation. I like it. I like it. On to the next one. The system trying to tackle downtown. I can already tell. He was like, no, 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 not here. Anywhere but here. <laughs> All right, guys, we're heading up to our next customer. And as you can see, I'm in the middle of downloading an update. I don't know what it is, but it is an actual software update. 2022.44.30.5 instead of 25.5 that we're on now. So I'm gonna get some more customers, let that download while I'm driving, and then we'll uh, we'll see what it is. All right, here comes the next one. I haven't been in the back seat. This is funny. It's weird, right? I, <laughs> I notice the same thing if I'm ever in the back and I'm like, this feels really strange. <laughs> and then I realize people in the back seat have a better view of the roof than we do. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah really it's really like nice. <laughs> Especially in the Model Y, because it doesn't have the middle bar going it across. Doesn't? Yeah, we have the Model Y as well, and that is like a, just a full glass piece like the Model S. Oh, dang. It means you have a little bit less visibility in the back, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and it just being a crossover is pretty cool. I love this thing to death, but having an SUV is definitely a bit more comfortable for this type of work. And the is <laughs> huge, huh? I mean, it looks big at least. Yeah, it's not too much smaller than the Model X, at least as far as dimensions and such. Especially if you get the five-seater, it's this just with a lot more space, and you're sitting up a bit higher. You can get the truck? Yeah, oh yeah. That's the, that's the one I've been waiting for. Got a little RC version on my dashboard. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm a day one reservation holder. I was actually at the unveil in November of 2020. Okay. Uh, or sorry, 2019. November 21st, Where 2019. Where was that? It was in Hawthorne. Oh. At their design studio right next to SpaceX. Is it huge? It looks big. The truck? Yeah. It is, it's big, but it's not as big as people make it out to be. It's like the size of an F-150. Like that black truck. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's not... Yeah, it's a four-door, six-seater, three in the front, three in the back, with a six-and-a-half-foot bed. So it's a good full-size light-duty truck, but it's not like a 2500 or a 3500 dually diesel or something. That's actually what I was kind of hoping for. But no, it's, it's actually, it's like the perfect size for anyone who has a pickup truck that isn't in the medium-sized class, like a Tacoma or a Ford Ranger. I want you guys stay on your sidewalk so the <laughs> car doesn't freak out. Thank you. Pedestrians. Oh. Crazy. <laughs> Downtown still really hard for the full self-driving. <laughs> this is a really, really difficult area oh, for self-driving right now. You are, huh? Yeah, I'm an FSD beta tester. If you're familiar, I've got the city and highway. That's why mine looks a bit different than yeah. the average tester. Oh, that's cool. How do you do that? Well, uh, back in October of 2021, I requested access to the beta program because before that, it was basically just employees and a couple of prominent YouTubers like Dirty Tesla, Chuck Cook. And we went through a safety score scenario where you you give Tesla permission to monitor your driving. They can look at your following distance, um, how aggressively you go through corners or brake, and they assess your safety on a scale of you know zero to 100, 100 being the best. And I got in on October 2nd with a perfect score oh, nice. after 15 days of being monitored. Oh, nice. And now it's full wide release to anybody who has FSD. So all you got to do is basically go into your autopilot settings and there should be a button toward the top that says request beta. Oh, okay. And you'll get it. Um, and I'm actually very excited because this means I've got a new beta update. There you go. Which I'm trying to download on the go, but every time you go and drive, it kills your Wi-Fi. Which <laughs> is really annoying. There we go. I'm sorry. I that was my my plan is basically to try to download this while driving customers around until I need to actually update the car, then I'll go hit the jam while it updates or something. Nice. And hopefully come back to a new FSD beta update. <laughs> Except downtown it's having a hard time connecting to the Wi-Fi. Come on! It's the rain. I don't know. 
<laughs> it's these buildings. It's how massive they are. They block everything. Make sure we're not... Why aren't you staging? You need to get over to the right. Oh, actually, that's a really hard right. I don't think it'll be able to do it. Because it's it's a, it's a weird one. You actually have to go right, like, under a bridge to take the right. Everyone else goes straight. Mm. Oh, you got the cool steering wheel. Yeah, I got a yoke. <laughs> I've had that since uh, over a year now, actually. December uh, 14th or so of last year. How cool. Just Tesla things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I mean, when I saw it, the first one I saw that actually had it outside of the new SNX was Dirty Tesla. He got it from Han Show and put it in his Model Y. I was like, take my money. I want it. Because I got to drive the new SNXs, and, or the new S's. I actually haven't got to drive the X, the SUV, but the yoke is just, it feels incredible. I mean, it's not for everybody. There's some people that absolutely hate it. Most of them have never actually driven with one, and they're just kind of like reacting to the I appeal. Like this. I drive with my hand on top, so that would be an adjustment. Yeah, I, in the early days of me having it changed, there were some misfires <laughs> where I would go to turn and miss it but I really love the flat base for resting my hand like it is such a comfortable way to rest your hands versus the curve mm -hmm. especially in our threes and Y's our, our steering wheels are a bit smaller than the S and X so it's a little tight and now in our Model Y it just feels obnoxious to have the full steering wheel <laughs> especially with how wide this is I can just kind of rest my hand on the right or down I don't know you get used to it eventually it's no different than a steering wheel as far as moving it around i can whip this thing around a parking lot or an obstacle course just as good as anybody with a steering wheel <laughs> but it is a bit of an adjustment you got to kind of like rewire your brain to <laughs> where the parts of the yoke are but yeah this is what i mean so i am we got a cyclist and it's raining this is like a triple threat for the beta and it's not even projecting to take the turn properly so i'm gonna take over because we got to do this okay. oh. yeah it's a really weird edge case because and not even the map was seeing it and I know that the self-driving system at this level is vision first meaning that it looks it, it reacts to what it sees versus the map it kind of cross checks itself but I've never even been in a oh and now because I got out of darn it I lost self-driving because I exited it and it's raining oh, now you gotta drive yourself I know first world problems <laughs> <laughs> so lame it's funny, it's a little hack that if you're already in full self-driving when it's raining, it'll stay in it and it'll kind of beep at you saying, hey, just be extra careful. But once you exit it, it drops the city streets beta and goes back to standard autopilot. It's like, darn it. <laughs> oh, there we go, we're finally downloading. Yay. It's raining a little harder. Yeah, it is. Oh, we're so close. It's ridiculous how excited we can get. I mean, I'm sure even with like you getting the holiday update in the stuff that comes in every year, it's like, ah, more stuff for the car. <laughs> <laughs> These are the only cars that actually get better over time, you know, and it just, you don't have to take it to the dealer. It just happens. It's just like, hey, here's an update. It's like always a new car. Like yeah, that. yeah. Well, this was my favorite one, getting this blind spot camera that you can actually oh, yeah. move to different spots. Oh, I didn't know you could move it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I like it having it higher up so it's more in line with my eyes. Yeah versus being down but yeah you just whenever it's up you just grab it and you can move it to any of these three spots Who would have thunk? yep yep yeah yeah i taught you something i'm learning so much <laughs> oh man i never use my self-driving though because i'm just i'm afraid oh that's totally reasonable i'm gonna hit like a hobo they'll just pop out <laughs> yeah and this thing will put you into your seatbelt slamming on the brakes because yeah. i've had a few of them trying to play frogger with me yeah and the car sees them quickly and it, it it's uh it hurts the neck because <laughs> that braking system is good i'm guessing it's right here i don't know oh yeah there it okay, is cool i'm gonna try to get you in between these barriers so oh they're closed oh, they're closed. oh, they're closed. oh, they're closed. oh no. right, that's all right we'll find something yeah else. are you sure okay, yeah. okay. thank you thank yeah you. no problem you. and you know how to get out yes yeah. <laughs> Have a great one guys. Stay safe and happy new year. I love when I get to give trips to Tesla owners. It's a lot of fun. So that's cool. Those two customers will make up a video on their own. I am aiming, just to let all of you know, to get towards an upload a day. I'm up to about four or five a week, which is a lot of work, but I'm trying to get closer and closer to an upload a day without sacrificing the quality of the content you're getting. So Bear with me, you know, I want to grow, but I want to give you guys good quality stuff to see, not just boring or repetitive things that suck or aren't really all that enticing. But thanks again so much, everybody, for all your support and your views and your feedback. And I hope you guys have an amazing new year, and I will catch you in the next video.